And we don't serve ducks. I've told you before, we don't serve ducks. No, I haven't gotten any nails. Crackers are over there. Fine. So quackers. If any of you got that joke from the lack of context, bully for you. Extra points. Extra points to anybody who already knew that joke enough to understand it without any of the joke part. Um, so welcome. Uh, we've got uh, just a few minutes before the stream starts improper. So we've got about three minutes to go. If you're just joining us as a, as a new viewer, uh, welcome. This show is streamed live. If you're watching it after the fact, you can go ahead and just bump forward about three minutes uh, and that's when the show proper will start. But otherwise, I do want to uh, welcome everybody and uh, pitch something that I'm going to pitch again later, but it's super important to me. Uh, I've put in a whole bunch of work along with the rest of my team at Starlight Radio Dreams, and we've got a show coming up this Friday. This Friday at 8 p.m. Central. It's called Snowstice. Uh, Snowstice, the final countdown. Uh, and uh, tickets are $10, so it's pretty affordable. And if you want to back us on Patreon... Uh, you can back us at the $10 level, and you get not only free admission to the show, but you get a whole bunch of other perks as well. Uh, but you can also buy tickets to just this one, and both options are available on our website. There's a link in the doobly-doo down below. So, uh, definitely check that out. I would be absolutely thrilled to see all of you there. It's going to be a really good time. Um, we've, we've done all of the pre-recorded bits at this point, and uh, they look just stunning. I'm really excited about it. Or rather, I should say they sound stunning. It is mostly an audio presentation. Uh, but yeah, so Starlit Radio Dreams is a um, an audio drama podcast program that I use and, uh, uh, or rather, that I produce and, uh, and I'm really, really proud of. So uh, hop on over there if you're interested. You didn't throw your phone this time. Good work. Improvement. You like the cave? Yeah. The, I think the cave is really going to make a difference this time. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love that I can count on you guys to, to come in first thing. Uh, and, and well done, you made it home in time again, Ink Dot. Well done. That's two in a row. That's exciting. Oh, you're going to... Okay. Well, luckily, the show is recorded, so if you do buy tickets, you can watch it any time. Um, otherwise, you do have to wait about a month and it gets posted on YouTube. But uh, Ink Dot, I know you're one of our Patreon backers, so you do get free admission as part of your back Patreon uh, tier. So that's you'll have ready access to it, and I'm, I'm excited to hear what you think about it after the fact. And with that, it's 5 o'clock here, which means it's probably 5 o'clock somewhere. Um, like I said, this is a, a magical other dimension, and uh, today our roving uh, magical bar tour has taken us to a table in the middle of a cave. A table in the middle of the cave, everyone's favorite bar. Uh, so uh, for anyone who's ever been uh, traveling through their, their uh, RPG world and they think to themselves, why? Why is there a bar in this spot? Maybe they're on a magical pub crawl too. So uh, here we are in the middle of a cave. I've set up a table. I've got all my bar stuff. So don't worry. We're going to be ready to serve you uh, whatever you want. So. Uh, for those of you who are new here, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm so pleased to have you. For those of you coming back, thank you so much. Uh, to all of you, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and uh, do that on YouTube. It really does help me out. Uh, so, welcome adventurous drinkers. My name is Ansel Birch, the Indecisionist, and I will be your dungeon barkeep today. Now, as you can see, I've set up a bar in the middle of a cave, and like any barkeep in the middle of a cave, I'm no expert mixologist, but I am brave enough to try anything I put together before I give it to you, and I'll tell you how it is, and I'll be honest. How's that sound? Cool? Great. So, we're going to put together a drink today completely at random using uh, gaming dice to determine what ingredients should go into it. And to tell you just how prepared I am, I don't even know what I'm going to call this thing yet. But I did ask my friends on Facebook if they had any suggestions, and they gave me loads of great gaming names. So I'm going to roll a D percentile, that's a D100, to pick the name of our cocktail off of the list, and that'll be the first roll of the night. So let's get started. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the, the dice cam so you can see my rolls in real time or in, you know, post. Whatever happens to you in real life is fine. Oh, I'm missing a D10. How am I missing a D10? All right. First person to put a number between uh, uh, 10 to, uh, 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 well, I'll just roll it twice. Let's do that. I'll just roll it twice. One of my cats must have gotten to the D10. All right, so that's a two, and then this will be our tens place. One. All right, so this is a 12. This is going to be the alignment jumbler sent in by uh, Brighty uh, Damish. Uh, alignment jumbler. That's exciting. You drink so hard that it's going to jumble your alignment. That's... All right, that's promising, that's promising. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what liquor is gonna go into this drink. And so we have our list of liquors here. Uh, let's see what we get. And I'll flip back over to camera B. That's a six, which on the liquor list is brandy. Okay, we haven't had brandy before, that's exciting. All right, so I've got brandy set aside. Uh, next, we need to figure out what our bar term of the day is going to be. Now, like I said, I'm no expert mixologist, but I've done a fair amount of Googling, uh, and I've picked out 12 different bar terms. So let's see what our D12 result is. That's an 8. So our bar term of the day is Jigger! Jigger! Yeah, that's right. Uh, and this is actually a great segue. I've been gifted some amazing jiggers uh, recently, so I'm really excited to have a few jiggers to pick between, uh, and that's what these are. They're the measuring devices that we use to figure out the um, amounts of liquor or mixers that we're going to be putting into them. Uh, each side will have a different uh, measure to it, and most of them are marked, like this is a one and a quarter and one. I don't know if you can read that on the camera, but it is, it's like printed on the outside, some they're printed on the inside. Um, and uh, I just, I wanna thank the people who have sent these to me. Um, a couple of them are from my Amazon wish list, which is posted on my website, indecisionist.com slash dungeon barkeep. So if you wanna check that out, that's also where you can submit pictures for the magical pub crawl and, uh, and see the full list of all of the uh, variables that go into these drinks. So. Great resource. If you like the show, check it out. There's a lot of cool stuff there, including all of my past rep recipes. So check that out for sure. All right, so that's our bar term, Jigger, the measuring device, which we will see in uh, in use today, almost certainly. Uh, not not free pouring today. Let's we're we're gonna use we're gonna use a Jigger today. Um, unless did I do it wrong? Is eight free pour? Ah, oh, dang. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bridie. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're paying attention. So now we talked about jiggers. Free pour is when you don't use a jigger. <laughs> that's that's pretty perfect. Uh, free pouring is usually when you either pour um, directly into your glass without measuring, or when you pour out of the tum out of the uh, mixing tin directly into the glass without straining. Uh, it kind of gets used in both um, positions, and so um, if you know the exact distinction, please let me know, but I've been seeing resources going both ways on that. Uh, so it seems to be interchangeable. So thank you, Bridie, for keeping me honest. Free pour, absolutely. All right, Jigger is nine. You're absolutely right. Uh, I got excited about my new Jigger. I'm just, what can I say? Uh, all right, so we're going to move on to our next die, which is a D8. So we'll flip back over to the dice cam. There's our D8. That's a five and five. All right, we're, let's, let's actually look at the list properly this time. Five is lemon juice. All right, so we're gonna use the juice of a lemon in today's cocktail. That's this is like three or four in a row that we've put lemon into. Some with uh, some as a, an executive decision, but lemon's going in this one for sure. Okay, so next up, we're gonna pick a garnish. That's a D6. All right, so D6 on or a, a three on the uh, garnish table is rimming sugar. Oh, okay. Um, I've got two kinds of rimming sugar on hand, so we'll see. We'll see what's gonna look the best in this one. I discovered recently that they're both flavored. Um, they're not very well flavored, but they are flavored. So I'm gonna try and be a little bit picky about which one I put on there. 
Uh, and finally, we've got a D4 for our method. So let's go back to the die cam for that exciting roll. And you can't even read it. There we go. That's a one on the method shaken. Nice old traditional shaken. We're going to put these into a, a shaker tin with ice and we're going to mix them up together that way. So that's exciting. I'm going to get to use that, that sh those shaker tins. Again, that was gifted to me and I really appreciate um, receiving those. It was a huge, huge help in addition to my, uh, to my setup here. All right. But you may think that that was going to be the last thing. And usually you'd be right. But today I'm introducing something new because I recently bought a bottle of Crown Royal and it came with the universal dice bag. Yeah, everybody's first dice bag. I never had one and now I do. So I got really excited about it and uh, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull a bonus die out of this dice bag. It's a random die. It's one, it's either a D20 for an extra liquor, a D8 for an extra mixer, or a D6 for an extra garnish, or a D4 to pull from the liqueurs table. So let's see what I get. I'm just gonna grab whatever comes into my hand. It's an extra D6. Okay, so with a D6, we're gonna add an extra garnish to this. Let's see how that goes. Uh, all right, back to camera B. That's a six, right? Yeah, that's a six, which on the garnish table is Blackstrap Bitters. All right, Blackstrap Bitters. Uh, all right, so we've got brandy, we've got lemon juice, we've got bitters, and we've got rimming sugar. Huh. This is going to be an interesting cocktail. Let's see how it goes. So let's flip back over to the bar top cam, and we'll take a look at how this thing comes together. Oh, there's my D10. All right. All right, so here we are on the bar top cam. Let's see. We're going to free pour today, so I don't need that jigger in the way. Uh, we have a bottle of brandy here. Yay, we've got some lemon. We've got our bitters. Uh, I'm trying not to show off the labels because they're not paying me. Uh, and yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead, go ahead and get started. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to have to juice this lemon. Uh, these, I've been getting smaller lemons recently. I'm not sure what that's about, but um, I don't know. Because uh, because of the state of the world, even here in this magical cave, uh, I am require I am required to have people bring me my my groceries, and that means that uh, yeah, that means I'm getting lemons that I didn't pick. And these ones are a little smaller. They're they're producing about an ounce and a half of juice. So I'm going to guess that this is about an ounce and a half of juice that I'm going to get out of this thing. So we'll just uh, squeeze that right into the tin there. Ah, uh, gotta love a lemon. And uh, this, is a, this is a little uh, trick that I'm going to pull today. I'm also going to use this lemon for my rimming sugar. Let's see. This feels like a fancy drink. Let's get a fancy glass. So I'm going to go ahead and run the, the lemon that I just squeezed around the edge there. And that gives us just enough liquid to pick up the sugar. So that's, uh, that's taken care of now. There we go. Get the last of the juice out of that half. Now we're going to juice this the second half. Now you might say, oh, you're being awfully careless about the seeds in these lemons. These are actually seedless lemons, uh, which is, again, not something I would normally have gone for, but here we are. Um, uh, what's more, if you, if I did this with seeded lemons, uh, I could still count on my uh, strainer keeping them out. So you can be a little bit cavalier about that. Uh, yeah, that looks like an ounce, ounce and a half to me, so we should be okay. Now we've got our brandy. Move this out of the way. Try and make this a little more picturesque. There we go. So free pouring has never been a strong suit of mine, so we're just going to like, eh. There we go. Roughly a little bit more than the lemon juice. We'll see if I want to adjust that later. Uh, all right, and we're adding bitters. All right, and now our bitters. Free pour the booze, free squeeze the lemon. That's right, see? <laughs> all right, 
so we're gonna give just a little squirt of bitters in there. I'm glad you're checking out the website, uh, Agent of Enigma. All right, so that's all of our liquid ingredients. We do have an additional garnish of the uh, rimming sugar. I'm gonna go for this, I think this is pomegranate flavored rimming sugar. Uh, I got these in a kit that was supposed to make like a pomegranate cocktail, which was frankly kind of gross. So I didn't end up using most of it. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is lay out some rimming sugar here on my cutting board. Oh, that's that's attractive. All right, there we go. All right, frame that up a little better. There we go. And I'm gonna use the lemon that we laid on the side of this to sort of build up a rim of this sugar. Now you can get special rimming bowls for this, but frankly, who's got the space for a single purpose bowl in their life? All right, so there is our rimmed cocktail glass. Set this off to the side. And we'll pop back over to the neutral cam to shake. All right, we're now to the most exciting part. I'm gonna add a few D6 of cold damage to my shaker. There we go, one, two, three, and four. All right, now I put the liquids into the smaller half of this, which is gonna go on top of that, pop it in place. The ice is broken up, the tin is cold. I've successfully chilled and diluted my beverage just a little bit. And I've created a seal, which is always a good sign. There we go. All right. Let's see. I think I'm gonna honor both uses of free pour today and just pour this directly into the glass since I know those were seedless lemons. Perfect. All right, and there we are, the alignment jumbler. I think I'm like a lawful neutral most of the most of the time, but let's see if that changes today. Free pour the booze. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I'm. It's, I'm not. No one's mad at you for being late, Julie. You came for the best part. Hmm. It's mostly tastes like lemon juice, weirdly. Okay, I'm tempted to say, let's just add some extra brandy, but I wonder if this brandy is just a little on the dry side. So let's let's do a quick test. I can't imagine a dry brandy, but to be honest with you, I haven't drunk this on its own yet. Oh, it is. Okay, so this brandy is a little dry. If you've got a sweeter brandy, it might create more of a like lemonade -y style thing. Uh, but I think what this is going to need is a little bit of simple, which I will again free pour into my cocktail. We're going to do this like heathens now. All right, there's just a little bit of simple. That felt like half an ounce to me, I think. Uh, and I will give it just a hint more brandy in case that balance was off. So if we estimate that that was about two ounces before, it's now about two and a half ounces. 
All right. No one's been able to explain to me why bar spoons have to be this long. My only guess is it's so I can stir things from farther away, but... All right, so, now shaken and stirred, a revised alignment jumbler. There it is. Okay, it's still not something that everyone is going to be into, but if you really like lemon, like lemon drop martini style uh, beverages or boozy lemonades, this would be good for you. It's, it's very citrus forward. It's got the sweetness of the brandy, but it's not assertive enough to really overcome the lemon. Um, so it really comes out being like a, a slightly whiny lemonade, uh, which I'm not mad about. The bitters could have been there or not. Uh, they're blackstrap bitters, so they are molasses based. That's probably part of why they're sort of getting out of the way. Um, but yeah, all in all, this is a very festive, um, like summery feeling drink. Uh, I think if you wanted to uh, pretend that you weren't in a dun or in a, a cave like this, but were instead on the Sword Coast waiting for your caravel to come in from across the seas, this would be the perfect drink to uh, to consume out on the tavern balcony while you watch the uh, the NPCs wander by, waiting for a description of one that you're gonna attach yourself to and drag along on your adventure until such time as they die tragically because your DM is tired of, uh, of tracking them. You know, that sort of scene. This is what you want to drink when you're finding that NPC that you're going to get unnecessarily attached to. And as a DM, please do. We love it. So, all that being said, it's, uh, it's about time for us to call it. In fact, ooh, I've gone about four minutes longer than I usually do, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, let me know how you enjoyed the alignment jumbler. If you make any of my cocktails, take pictures, tag me on Instagram and Twitter, wherever you post them. I'm at Dungeon Barkeep on Instagram and Twitter. Otherwise, you can use my name, Ansel Birch, on Facebook, and that'll be a good way to find me. Uh, I do want to put in one last plug for Starlight Radio Dreams' upcoming live stream on Friday, this Friday, the 4th of December at 8 p.m. Tickets are $10 and available at starlightradiodreams.com slash hash new dash show lots of ash names uh but yeah so that's starlightradiodreams.com slash hash new dash show uh otherwise if you just go to starlightradiodreams.com and scroll down a little bit it's right there uh all that being done friends thank you so much for joining me i have been ansel birch the indecisionist your dungeon barkeep drink adventurously That one's got a limp. Get him. That's the guy. We want him.